Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and Jen is already laughing at me. But it's Flat Top Friday here. Uh, we had a great week at Norm's. Uh, a bunch of great customers coming through and sold a bunch of really cool guitars that came in from last week and the last two, uh, the guitar show in Dallas and also uh, another uh, customer in Texas. So we've been going through a bunch of guitars, but it's Flat Top Friday and we got something special today. Hey, 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 hold on, Lemo. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Now listen, uh -oh. uh, before you show this guitar, I just want to say one thing. Remember what I told you about jazz? You don't play jazz around here. No. Jazz is a bunch of bad notes. All it is is like a bunch of mistakes and uh, you know, you take those guys like Charlie Parker and Miles Davis, they couldn't play a good note if they tried. What about Coltrane? It's well, he's really another squeaking. one. He's another one. So, like, if you're playing in the key of C, you don't play an F sharp. Doesn't belong in there at no. any at any point. Those guys, they play all F sharps and C sharps in the key of C and stuff like that. And so it and just. And then they get the golf clap. Right. Well, that that's what happens is they sit in a club and people. There's probably four people in there. And the you know the more that you know the better they get the worse their audience is, and the <laughs> people the just sit there and kind of politely just like clap. You go to a rock concert, you know, people are like up yelling and screaming and all that. Yeah, they're the not that guys, excited. Well, the jazz people aren't even sure if it's good. They just, you know, <laughs> they're trying to, they look at each other and if they both look like, oh, that's, that was yeah, that, very yeah. <laughs> highbrow. So anyhow, so no jazz, remember what I told you. Okay, no I mean, jazz. I want you to try to play the right notes like you usually do. Leave those other sharps and flats and all that other crap out of there. And uh, you jazz guys, you know, no offense to you because I know you think you're doing the right thing and you've studied this. <laughs> so you got to study to play all the wrong notes. So yeah, you, um, you, people go to school for that. Well, they do because, I mean, the thing is, is that you, you know, you know, when at you Berkeley, it on... the only ones who stay in school are the jazz artists. See that? So See that? <laughs> what it is, is that there's a study and you pay extra and you learn what the bad notes are and then you just play them all. Yeah, then you utilize the bad notes. And then you become a master of jazz. So anyhow, we're, we're kind of discouraging that around here. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, I just bought an L5 off Norm. Right, but he's not going to play jazz. He's going to play like some bluegrass or something on the uh, on the L5, right? Yes, you just promised bluegrass. me you weren't. Gonna no, just play those rock notes. and roll. Nope, nope, no jazz. All right. Well, anyhow, I just had to intersect that or interject that. And uh, all you jazz guys, I'm really sorry. And if this makes you feel better, you know, I just want to give you a little applause because all you Stop get flat. is a little applause. And uh, you know, the better you get, the less money you make. We're trying to groom these guys to actually make some real money here. So forget jazz, forget <laughs> school. As a matter of fact, wow! wow. Yeah, really like, forget you know, school, <laughs> forget jazz, all the things your parents told you. Forget it. Right. <laughs> you don't need to learn anything. You should just like learn to eat with a spoon, and you'd be fine. You know. But uh, all this other stuff, forget about it. And all those highbrow jazz guys, you know, my condolences to all of you. Lemo, go ahead. Oh back, wow! Back to your there we go. Now you guys know. I don't know a few of you are crying. Um, but man, that's Norm for you. <laughs> Shattering dreams left and right. <laughs> All right, well, we uh, have a special guitar today. Um, this is uh, an artist model, but uh, come on back. Let's check it out. Are you playing jazz on this? <laughs> Jen, I think. I think we should. I think you should. I think too. we should just loop a bunch of jazz. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Jazz looper. All right. Well, open it. Let's, well, yeah, we should get back to it. I'm like almost still confused. <laughs> I am. I'm super confused right now. I don't even know what's going on. All right. So today we have an ovation, uh, but this is a special one. This is the 2078ME6P. So the ME stands for... Me. <laughs> sure. Me or also... Melissa Etheridge. Ooh. So this was her model, and actually she came by last week. And let me say, she is so nice and, and awesome. Uh, she bought, I think it was a, what was it, a Gibson 347 from us. But um, just a very a nice woman and, and a great, obviously, songwriter and player. But um, this is a guitar that actually belonged to Glenn Campbell. And uh, we received this guitar uh, from his son, um, his his son's Cal Campbell, and uh, he actually saw this guitar because <clears throat> he was an Ovation artist. He saw this guitar in the factory and just loved it so much. It's actually signed by Melissa too in there, as you can see. But um, there's also um, some footage of him 
uh, online playing uh, Gentle on My Mind, um, and I think Willie Nelson's there and a couple other classic country artists, and it looks like this, although I believe his has another inlaid down here as well, but it's white, and uh, it just has an amazing sound. But these guitars are obviously known especially for being plugged in. Um, you Ooh, can get... Ooh, you're plugging it in? I think we are, oh. if we can get the battery. <laughs> Jen ran out of batteries. I'll go grab some more. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. All right, add it's it on. Game on. Yeah, add it to her list. <laughs> we'll see. Her. Well, uh, Jen, I'll see you again at uh, six o'clock tonight. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, cool white finish, and it's got the uh, pearl um, binding on the side, which is really cool. And then obviously you have the classic Ovation uh, electronics there. Um, just your volume, and then your low, mid, and highs. Um, little EQ shape, which kind of gives you different, um, like takes out bass or adds treble, or all different, and then you have your tuner, and that ejects the uh, the unit so that you can uh, put your uh, battery in there. But obviously the Ovation was one of the first ones known for the composite back and the round. It's kind of funny to sit with, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. It kind of like slips like all around, especially on my belly. <laughs> but it's a spruce top, um, and you know, I can't say enough about uh, obviously what Glenn Campbell has done for the guitar community and also just for entertainment in general. The guy, I mean, you know, it's funny, today you think of artists like you almost have to be an actor now, you gotta be a uh, actor, singer, musician, you gotta be like all these things and he was doing that way back. He was a, had his own TV show, he was a movie actor writing songs, singing songs, part of the Wrecking Crew, played on Beach Boys songs, Ricky Nelson, Elvis Presley, I mean the guy, is just insane um and also has released over 70 albums almost um in his lifetime which is just insane if you think about it and i don't even know if that's including all the stuff he did sessions on or or what that might just even be him on his own but uh but just an amazing guitar and uh one of my favorite things about these two was that um was the plug the plugging it in um because you know, one of my favorite guitar players is also Lindsey Buckingham, and he had a Rick Turner, but you can kind of get that sound on this where it really punches. It's kind of got that, like, um, it's almost like a, I don't know, like a blue steel mm -hmm. on the strings. But it's, it's really cool sounding, and we're going to take it out, uh, plug it in, and uh, see what we can do. But just a beautiful guitar. Probably the best ovation I've ever played. Um, I haven't played, you know, uh, yeah, one like this ever. So we're going to take it out front and see what we can do. Can you play some jazz? <laughs> I'm still okay, confused. I'm still confused. He's kind of right. Because, like, watch. How does that sound like jazz, maybe? Oh, I kind of like it. Okay. Wait, do it again? Do it again one more time? Just go chromatic. All the wrong notes. <laughs> No, are you kidding me? I listen to more jazz than I listen to anything anymore. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, West Montgomery, know. John Coltrane. It's okay. on the top of my list. So, All right, hurry up. He's Let's just go. joking. Is he's he? Joking. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you up front. Hey, guys, so we're out front with the Adamas Ovation. This is the Melissa Etheridge model. Um, we're going through the Pro Reverb. Um, All the cues are noon, a little bit of verb. And also... Um, our good friend uh, Kenny Burrell, the great jazz guitar player, um, needs a little bit of our help. So if you guys could go on to the GoFundMe for Kenny Burrell, um, he could use all the help he can get. And, uh, you know, he's been a big influence on many guitar players that come through our shop and all over the world. So if you could just help him out, you know, sometimes it gets tough. You could, you could be on the road one second and, and uh, off the road in another. So that's why we do things like the Midnight Mission as well. So uh, if you could just go help him, that would be great. Um, and then uh, let's get to it. So we're going to do, uh, this guitar also was owned, obviously, we spoke about it before, by Glenn Campbell. So we're going to do a piece of his.
Cool. Now go uh, wherever my cable is. Right Jim, where's you. my cable? Right behind you. Literally. Cool. Arms right there. <laughs> it's about like. Yeah. <laughs> By your butt plug. Whoa! <laughs> What's he got? Jesus! <laughs> Guitar of the day, Norm! He's a wild guy. Alright, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it. The beautiful ovation owned by Glenn Campbell, uh, the Melissa Etheridge model. Um, you can check out all these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook at Norman's Rare Guitars. I'm your host, Michael Emmo. I'm happy to be here, and we will see you tomorrow for Stratterday. And all Guitar Network. Yeah. Check out the behind the scenes all the every day, all the time. We have everything on there. We're going to do behind the scenes on this guitar um, and every one you see. So check it out. Bye. Do it. <laughs>